Hi, John Greger from Cold Sand Photography with some more tips and tutorials. Today I'm going to be talking about backpacks. In particular, the backpack that I just bought, which is the Peak Design Travel Backpack, the 45 liter model. This retails for $299.95, so about $300. Along with that, as an accessory, I got the large camera cube to protect the gear. That retails for about $89.95, or $90. So $390 for the combination. Let me show you a little bit about how this thing works. It's quite amazing, and I'm very, very happy with it so far. So first of all, it's, it is a travel size backpack, which means that it will fit on international flights. So it is uh, carry on, uh, uh, meets the carry on regulation size. And that's the primary reason why I bought this backpack. I've got plenty of backpacks. I carry some that are quite large, but I wanted something that I could use for flying since I'm gonna be doing a number of trips coming up over this next winter where I'm flying and I need to transport my gear in an aircraft. So this, this bag is laid out really, really well. Like most bags these days that are serious backpacks, they have the straps on the inside where the open is to access the bag. So most bags are going to this sort of design with the straps on the uh, uh, on the inside with the zipper on the inside and so you can open it up to access the bag and that's a great design uh, feature on this bag as well as a number of others that are out these days because then you don't have to put it down in the mud and muck and pick it up and then wear this backpack that's full of mud or wet or snow or whatever. As you would expect with any Peak Design bag, I've owned a number of their products. They're very well designed and they're very well made. I'm not gonna go into each and every feature of this bag. If you wanna see all the features of this bag, I suggest that you go to the Peak Design website and take a look at their uh, video. I'm gonna just cover the high points, why I bought it. I bought it so that it would fit my gear, and I've got all my gear over here, and I'm gonna show you how I pack it into a compact size that will carry on. So the first thing you do is you open this thing up and then you take the camera cube, which I bought, and you open that flap, you flip that back around to get it out of the way, and you insert this bag right inside the other one. This bag has all the dividers that you can imagine that a typical camera bag is going to have. I love these dividers. They're nice and they've got a good stiffness to them, but they're padded so they protect the gear. Those soft ones that you see with a lot of backpacks, you use them for a couple months and they're all wore down and wishy-washy and the gear is falling all over the place. These dividers are good and solid. They're very aggressive on the Velcro. They stay put where you put them, which is a really nice feature. But let's take a look at really what matters and how it packs. Okay, here's all my gear and here's the backpack. That's the challenge, how to get this gear into here. This is my travel setup. I shoot with Fuji XT cameras, so they're the APS size. It's a little smaller than a full frame. Uh, I really like the Fuji system and I love their glass and I've got plenty of it that I'm gonna take with me. I'm even gonna pack my birding lens, which is the 100-400 and a teleconverter. So I've got two camera bodies six lenses, including the 100, 400, and a teleconverter. I've got my filtration system for landscape work. I've got my accessories, battery charger, cable release. I've got a uh, laptop, computer, charger, and a portable hard drive. So here we go. This is gonna be the pack out. I'm gonna take the 100, 400 first, put it right in here. And the next one, I'm gonna take the next largest lens, which is this 16 to 55, and I'm gonna tuck it right there, the 90 millimeter right there, the, um, the 10 to 24, that, that's a good place for it right over here. I'm gonna put in my 12 millimeter right there, flip this little shelf down, which is real handy, put the teleconverter on the top because it protects it. I've got the little Voigtlander uh, 30, uh, 23 millimeter, which will go in one of these smaller 
pouches right there. I've got my very large filter system, which I use for my filtration for my landscape, which goes there along with the holder in there. The uh, microfiber cloths, which I usually just generally sort of pack in anywhere I can get them. My card uh, case, the cable release and accessories, my battery charger with two batteries, two extra batteries, the cable, my XT5 right back here, my XT4 right in there, just like that. And my neck strap, which just goes on the top here. And then this just zips shut. And this is a full pack. There's a lot of stuff in here. It's very condensed and very small. I'm gonna put the laptop computer in the front lap pocket right there. And I'll put the charger in a side pocket right here. And actually I'll put my uh, hard drive just on the top right inside there. That's a good spot for it for travel purposes. And here we go. I've got a nice, compact, everything fits. It's a tremendous amount of gear in a really nice, slick little system, and it works really well. Well, there you have it. A fully loaded, peak design, travel backpack, 45 liter bag with everything that I'm gonna need for my coming travels this winter when I fly. The one thing that you don't see in this setup is my tripod. That would normally just slide into a side pocket right over here. I don't fly with a tripod on the carry-on. I put that in my check baggage and that's why I didn't include it in this setup. I hope this has helped. Thank you.